Didn't you look at the hotel security cameras? Tapes were raised. It's like we're dealing with pros. How did you do that? Your next target is in Paris. There'll be no backup. Any questions? Which room? What do you want most in the world? Well, aloha! This is Trinidad, the island man, your island man. Coming to you live once again from not Hawaii and not Colorado either. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I am currently still on vacation, but my location has changed, uh, you know, uh, for my vacation to beautiful Chicago. And uh, so here I am in Chicago, but yet I still want to see some of the good movies to pass to you, what's good and what's bad to see. So remember our rating scale, shock a thumbs up, it's good to see, I recommend it. Shock a thumbs down, it's junk, I don't recommend it. And. This last weekend, I went ahead and I saw the movie Anna. And, well, remember our rating scale? Shock a thumbs up, shock a thumbs down. And for Anna, it is a shock a thumbs up. Um, this was a smaller release uh, coming up against, you know, the big blockbuster of to Toy Stories 4 that came out uh, this last weekend, Friday, that, uh, you know, opening weekend of 120 million dollars so that was obviously number one and Anna being a smaller picture um, you know try to kind of become that counter programming uh, you know kind of an adult r-rated action movie in the lines of kind of uh, follow on the heels of John Wick 3 um, if you are familiar with the older movie and even the TV show uh, La Femme Nikita uh, it is very much in lines with this and also last year's movie of um, Red Sparrow. Uh, however, I feel it is a little bit better than Red Sparrow. Uh, definitely more along the lines of La, La Femme N Nikita. Um, whereas we have uh, starring uh, Sasha Lush, uh, Luke Evans, uh, Cillian Murphy, and... Amazingly enough, Helen Mirren, uh, all starring in this movie. Uh, Sasha Lush plays a Russian um, intelligent uh, woman uh, in a dead-end kind of lifestyle. Uh, her parents, uh, you know, ex-military, I guess, before they were killed or uh, in a uh, car accident, I believe. Um, and uh, she applies for the Russian Navy, looking as if it's her only opportunity to get out of the dead-end life that she's in currently now with her junkie boyfriend, etc. Um, and I guess her scores are so high, she is recruited for the KGB uh, secret service kind of uh, uh, organization that they have and uh, basically follows directly in the steps of like Red Sparrow, where she becomes this fashion model uh, as her cover, going to various locations to take out and murder, um, you know, other, you know, key, key people that, you know, is a threat to the Russian uh, government. Um, so, Luke Evans is her handler, who, of course, like in uh, Red Sparrow, falls in love with uh, Anna, which is her name, um, you know, and Anna soon becomes one of her top, one of Russia's KGB's top assassins uh, in Russia, uh, and gets the notice of Helen Mirren, uh, pretty much the headmaster of the spy training school. Um, and uh, basically she becomes the number one in Russia for assassinations uh, and pretty much gets stationed in, in Paris 
uh, and starts to take out uh, numerous individuals. Uh, there is a lot of action in this movie. Uh, there is some blood, which is why it notes the rated R. Uh, unlike Red Sparrow, there is no nudity. There are sexual uh, connotations in this, as Anna often poses as the uh, girlfriend to some of rich individuals that are her targets. Uh, but you never see anything like Red Sparrow. Um, you know, I, I don't know if that's a plus or a minus, but it does not detract from the film and what it wishes to be is kind of a John Wick, La Femme Nikita follow-up kind of a movie. Um, and so let me just say that uh, everyone in this does, you know, does amazing. Um, you know, Sasha Lucia's character as Anna definitely uh, sells the, you know, her role as a model, being a model, uh, you know, before switching to acting, she had had like a bit part in uh, Valerian uh, and the city of, uh, well, and the planet of C a Thousand Cities or something like that. Um, so, you know, this is her first major starring role. And as an action role, uh, it, is, it is entertaining and it does get you to feel all of what they want you to uh, as far as, you know, an action kind of, uh, you know, thriller, drama kind of movie. Um, could it have used a little bit more action? Sure. Um, but I think they do fantastically well and it far exceeds that of Red Sparrow and at least stays level with La Femme Nikita, if not reaching the levels of a John Wick uh, as it truly wants to be. Uh, but perhaps in future installments, uh, it may be able to reach that. Who knows? Uh, but if you're not interested in seeing like the, all the kids' movies this weekend, either <laughs> The Return of Chucky with Child's Play or Toy Story 4, uh, you know, go ahead and check out Anna if you're looking for something a little bit more adult, uh, especially if you're looking for something with action. Uh, you can't go wrong. Uh, with this movie, and the plot does have several twists and turns. Uh, like La Femme Nikita, it is a woman who wants to, you know, who gets caught up in this life and wants to escape this life. Um, so in that respect, it is a little formulaic. However, they do a particular couple of twists in this movie that are, you know, kind of freshen it up a little bit. Uh, if you're worried about seeing something that you've already seen before. Uh, so it is a shock of thumbs up overall for Anna. And uh, I'd be interested in seeing a sequel to this or even a uh, streaming uh, series uh, following up on this as it does set up for potential and uh, sequels. Uh, I would say that uh, like Red Sparrow, it is, you know, there is a little bit of a ding against this movie, I feel, in the fact that, you know, yes, she's a beautiful woman, and she's an operative, and she's been trained to kind of seduce men, I guess, in addition to that, with her KGB spy training. However, you know, we, you know, it goes off to note that, you know, Luke Evans, which plays her handler, um, you know, right from the get-go, probably he picks her for her beauty, per se, um, you know, right off the bat, along with her other intelligent uh, traits, um, you know, because he obviously wants to have a, a fling with her. Um, but you do, you do feel generally that he does have feelings for her, um, and maybe her for him as well. Um, but it's just that, you know, I mean, KGB trained operatives, uh, U.S. military trained operatives, uh, like Cillian uh, Murphy's character who plays a CIA head agent, uh, also kind of falls for her. But I guess maybe they're using that as maybe, you know, uh, that's some of the fringe benefits of working these counter-spy operations is that you get to sleep with the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, you know, I feel that they shouldn't have maybe fell so hard for these guys, that they'd be trained at least a little bit better, you know. I mean, you don't have to be like Stone Cold, like James Bond, and just say love them and leave them kind of a thing, but at least 
ha- you know, keep in your mind that she might be playing you. That's all I'm saying. That, and so that is a little bit of a flaw for the movie, but it's it's more than enough to look over with all the action uh, and the twists in the plot. All right, thank you so much. This is Trinidad, the Island Man, your Island Man. Uh, not in Hawaii currently, but we'll be returning next week. Uh, so don't you worry. And uh, in time for Spider-Man 2. <laughs> or no, Spider-Man, yeah, Spider-Man 2. Uh, homecoming. So don't worry. But again, Anna, shock a thumbs up. Go ahead and see it if you've already seen uh, Toy Story 4 and you want to check out something else. All right. Thank you so much. And aloha from beautiful Chicago. <laughs>